I just wonder if he's down there in the basement with the porno or. <laughs> and I die laughing. Her saying him just sitting downstairs all day on the porno. <laughs> Had me just absolutely dead. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello. Yes. It is a truck muck. Just out on the job, finished the jobs. Now's dinner, sun's about to set, 6.30. Doesn't set till like 7.30 now, which is amazing. But gonna try a local pizza joint that I've been meaning to try for absolutely ever. And it's called Angelo's Pizza and Subs. I'll give you a, you know, a little look, see at how it is. You'll see it's got the classic feel to it, but uh, you know, I'm a pep and cheese kind of guy. 11.99 large pep and cheese walk-in special that's when we're gonna hit i really hope they got some dipping sauces but you know check out the signage here you can tell this place is classic by the signage first things first let's spin her around right in the parking lot we got the classic angelos right but then on the actual pop this off the brick and mortar here we go like you know that's classic that's that tucked away hidden old school stuff now my whole thing is i really hope it doesn't come out tasting like high school cafeterias are i hope it's a hidden gem but we will find out we will find out angelo if you're any good come on angelo if it's got angelo's it's got to be good i mean if that's what the czar looks like though angelo it's looking a little a little high school calf i'm not gonna lie same as these got the chocolate milk classic signage right but i guess we're gonna find out today the old sniff test, sniffing the box. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Anyways, fresh hot pie. Only took about 10 to 12 minutes. The lady in there was super great. Uh, and they did have dipping sauce, but they got like the Heinz ones. So not the greatest ones, but all right, all right, all right. Nothing compares to pizza pizza. Anyhow. So anyways, let's find out together. Crack this open. Be surprised together, hopefully. And, uh, you know, like Bob Barker would say, come on down. All right, here we go. A moment of truth for both you and I at the same time. Hello, beautiful. Looking kind of Domino's-ish. I did ask for a little extra crispy of a cook. So you can see, nice leoparding. That little stony, weedy crust there. I will say, though, it's got a very home style feel to it. For sure, it looks a little cafetier. But, you know. All right, see, this is the Heinz stuff. These ranches, the Heinz dips, they're all right. They're not, they're not the best, but they are, they are just all right. There's a little, like a little sour tang to them. And uh, we're going to crack both and see what's crapping in with that. And then also it's got that really, just that home style very much, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's not the craziest, best pizza. I can already kind of tell, but I've been meaning to try it for years. But anyways, first bite, let's go. We're also on the cinematic cam today. So that means I, the subject and the pizza, this other subject, should be really in focus and then around me should be all blurry kind of it's a little thing we in the industry call depth of field pretty common knowledge i think but that's definitely a pretty crazy upgrade on these phones these days is having a adjustable f-stop built in you could honestly film like a pretty high grade movie or like documentary 
Just on a phone these days, honestly, it's pretty nuts. But all right. I've been driving by this place my entire life. It's on the way out to where my dad lives. And uh, I've just never stopped, never had it. And for the past few years I've been living here, I've just been driving by, I'm like, I gotta try it. I gotta try it, I gotta try it. And uh, I think you could tell anywhere that has like the really huge style pepperonis, it's got that like it's that local joint that you can rely on to be open till like four in the morning. The prices are good. It's dependable, it's reliable. You know, it's like a, the Honda Civic of pizza places. Just kind of that like generic type slice. Kind of what I expected. Still good though. Sauce is nice. Good marinara for sure. Was hoping for a little more though. Excuse me while I get a rag. The shop towels always coming in handy. When you don't get napkins from inside. Okay, a switch up. I was at a place called Giant Tiger. It's a, uh, I'm sure some of you guys know about it, but GT. It's like a cheap, all you can get type place. Some groceries, cleaning stuff, cheap clothes. It's actually where this is from and this is from very cheap clothes but seem to be okay good for working in that's for sure about a chocolate milk to appease the palate if i could just open it but it's giving me that i'm going grade two on this when you can't get in there and it doesn't just give you that easy fold and then you gotta mess with it and then it gets kind of frayed and then the chocolate milk <laughs> Gets all kind of, this part gets soggy, the lip, and then, you know. But how often does he have a chocolate milk? Very rarely. And I just spilt it all over my shirt because of this weird lip. Perfect. But yeah, this was a dollar. So I just was like, oh, those are cheap. I'm going to get a few. Milk and pizza? Is that a thing? Do people do milk and pizza? I know that in Home Alone they were having milk and pizza because he spills it, the milk. And the tickets, and then his ticket gets thrown out and shit. Perhaps in the 90s, milk and pizza was a good combo. I don't know. There was something I did. Always popping pizza. Pepsi, Coke. I've actually never understood even just having a straight glass of milk. My neighbor used to drink glass of milk all the time and it grossed me out I don't know why I can't tell you why that's a glass of milk but I can have a milkshake or a chocolate milk no problem but it's a glass of milk I don't know man that's a little crazy <laughs> I'll tell you what else is crazy. The fact that we don't have a Costco here. And I just wish we had a Costco. And I just wish that we had one so I could try their pizza. It looks good. 
But moreover, I've watched Quantran eat Costco wings, a bucket of Costco wings many times, and their wings just look quite literally like the best wings in the world. Can anybody confirm or deny? Because they look literally like they just look perfect. Perfect. I swear. Apparently we're supposed to get one in the near future, but I'll believe it when I see it. Another good news, though, my city's finally getting a Taco Bell and a Mary Brown's. I've seen them coming up. They're in construction right now. Ugh, this fucking... I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. <laughs> no, no, no. Spilled milk. It's just fucking... It doesn't fit in a cup holder, okay? It's obtuse. It's like that spatial awareness test when you're a kid. It's like the square doesn't fit in the circle, but I was trying to <coughs> make it balance, okay? Just accept me for who I am. Anyways, two places I am highly, highly excited for. Mary Brown's goes hard in the chicken game. very good spot and then i've just i've never not loved taco bell i know it's like mystery diarrhea meat wrapped in a tortilla and whatnot <laughs> but i can't lie i've just always loved taco bell it just goes down so smooth <laughs> And their sauce. That mild sauce. The hot sauce. So good. I can't wait for Taco Bell to, to be here. As you can tell. Anyhow, hammered out a bunch of jobs. But the main thing, it's sunny out. I gotta tell you. Sun... For your mental health is like just so necessary. When it's sunny out, blue sky, I'm like 50% just more, you know, it's just a better day immediately when the sun's out. So I was super fucking hyped to have that going on today but just something funny that happened at my last job was the probably the eldest elderly lady that I do replace um, she comes out generally she's super cool super nice but she comes out to kind of putter and I think she's just lonely and wants to have a, you know, at least a 20 minute action interaction kind of thing for, for her day with somebody. And usually she comes out, you know, right when I get there, but she hears the machine and all that. But then today it took her a while to come out. And I was like, I was wondering if she's going to come out. Maybe she's not. Is she dead? No, I think she's dead, but, um, she, uh, I was just, I hammered out the job and then I was just tidying up the last little bits when she came out and she's like, oh, wow, you're already, so you're getting really fast at this. <laughs> so anyways, we end up in her garage, just leaning against her car because she just wanted to chat and I, I could tell she wanted just somebody to talk to, so. I had like a half an hour conversation with her, just even though I could have 
like it was the job was done i could have left but i could tell that she kind of needed just like at least to, to chat with somebody so <laughs> hung out with her for half an hour <laughs> and uh somehow got, ended up getting the lowdown on her neighbor <laughs> and then she told me that like he's like oh yeah he's like owned some a and w's and he's got some um ride service programs stuff he's kind of entrepreneurish and she's like <laughs> um but yeah but he's like he seems to be at home all the time all day she goes because you know you can run and manage your businesses if you're you know if you're the manager kind of you you run things you do it all from your phone and from computer and you go stop at location you check in on things every once in a while but once you have systems in place employees and you know you have your supervisors at work and the people who do everything at the actual physical physical locations you just kind of facilitate things from a distance but <laughs> just her saying him just sitting downstairs all day on the porno <laughs> had me just absolutely dead <laughs> because you know with today with technology and access to all that and how the world is devolving and going that way pretty deeply it's like it's easy to fall victim to, to the porno <laughs> it just got me going a really good chuckle for my day I'm um, um just when it's coming from an elderly lady like just old people it's like it's so weird it's like when you're a kid you could say the funniest shit and then when you're when you're really old then you can also say like some of the funniest shit because there's just something about <laughs> that like it's almost like you see <laughs> old people as almost as innocent as a child sometimes because they just they have that old sweet essence about them but it's like if you knew what they had actually done throughout their life i don't think you would have the same view right <laughs> they've lived longer and who knows how wild their story is but maybe as you get older you just kind of tame down right you're too old to really do anything and you kind of just become like a sweet old person or whatever. but she did say in her conversation that she gets lonely and uh you know i think that's relatable it's uh it's, it sucks for older people because they're just kind of you know at the end of life so many people you know are passed on or um you know the kids are living their own life they're all busy working and kids and blah blah and or they live away and then all your friends are you're just too old to really go do anything that you used to be able to do so you're just kind of stuck in the house and don't get out much don't talk to people too 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 much and yeah that'll play on your mental and even i that's relatable for a lot of people like for, for even young folks and middle-aged people like it just you know life is a lonesome journey a lot of the time because really you really only have and are with yourself even in a room of people you're still just you're still kind of with yourself you know and uh that's really who you have for your whole life is yourself so it's a tricky road to navigate but you gotta start to try to like yourself more than you hate yourself you know because we could I, I mean i've been down a slippery slope of starting to like hate myself at times 
And that's a weird dynamic to have with yourself because it's like you're you. And it's like, should you accept you for being all of who, who you are? But there's an inherent... Sometimes there's just an inherent built-in like shame and guilt. And I don't know if that comes from the world trying to tell you who you should be or you just knowing that you should be and do better maybe. I think it's a a, a dose of both. But... Well, I think when it comes from you recognizing that you could be better, that you could refine yourself into a, you know, just a little more of a stand-up person or a little more purity, a little less, you know, messing about and doing things that you know, like, aren't the greatest thing to do for you. Like, I don't know. It's a hard thing to navigate, for sure. Anyway, it's got a little deep at the end, but, you know, these things, they happen when I start to move my mouth motor mouth and these lips get to talking so anyways good pie crushed a good amount of it actually i didn't even realize i hit that much um but i was starving today one of those days where it's like i could have eaten really anything and enjoyed it i was just like ready to eat and it could have been really anything salad a sandwich this dirty burger taco whatever like anything i could have eaten really anything except for seafood fuck that shit <laughs> Well, maybe some fish and chips. I've actually been thinking about cooking fish and chips from scratch on the channel one of these days. So I would like to challenge myself to making a nice crispy uh, battered filet of, of fresh fish and see if I can make a nice one. But anyways, uh, thank you for joining me. Hope you uh, enjoyed it to some degree. And until the next one, you know what to do. <laughs> Be good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.